Hey guys, what's going on? Matt here from today's iPhone.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the tweak skip lock. This is a free tweak that's going to allow users to bypass their lock screen. So without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's take a look at the tweak here. I have my iPad pulled up on the screen and I'm using my iPad this time around for a specific reason, which we'll talk about later. But here is the tweak. I'm pressing my home button and bam, there's my screen. No lock screen. Nothing. I'll do it one more time. This way you guys can take it all in. Look, bam. I'm right into my iOS device, I can dive into whatever I'm going to do. Now, what's cool about Skip Lock is if you actually have a pending notification, it will show your lock screen. This way you actually don't miss any kind of uh, you know, important message or any other kind of notification you're gonna be getting. Now there is one uh, bug that I found with this tweak thus far. Now it's still kind of like in a beta, it's still growing. Uh, it's actually on a special repo, I've left that listed down below in the description of this video. But here you go, ready? So I'm actually pressing my sleep button right now, or my power button, and there it worked fine. But if I do it again, it'll sometimes glitch. So let me just try and get it to do it um, here. It'll actually turn on, then turn off really quick. Um, it, it happens randomly, so there's an example. So I had to do it about five or six times. So uh, at random, it's going to do that. Um, hopefully with a, a future update, that won't happen. But uh, I just love the fact that I'm able to press my home button and get right into my iOS device. Uh, sometimes the lock screen is just in the way. Um, now, let's talk about the other side of this, security. Um, you are leaving your iOS device without a passcode and free to be used by anybody at that point. So that's why I have it on my iPad. Not because I don't have important information on here, but because when I have my iPad on me, like I have it on me, like I'm using it, it's strapped to me. I really don't use it in an atmosphere where I could leave it laying down or forget it somewhere. Um, whereas my iPhone, I could go into a restaurant, I could go into, um, or I could just be out and about anywhere and just leave it somewhere. And if I use something like Skiplock, all my banking information, all the kind of personal stuff that you don't want people getting access to, they would have access to it. So I'm very hesitant to to put Skiplock on my iPhone or any other uh, one of my iOS devices that have any of my banking and other kinds of accounts on there. Yeah, of course, you know, you could get into my Twitter here or my Facebook, but that's minimal uh, in the long run, if you ask me. Um, also, like I said, when I'm using my iPad, uh, I'm using it in an atmosphere where I'm in control. I really don't leave it laying anywhere. That's just not common, at least for me. Um, but that's for you guys to decide. Is it comfortable for you to not have a lock screen period on your iOS device in the atmosphere that you use your device in? Um, but it's a free tweak. It's really awesome. It lets me get right into what I want to do, whether it's send a message, send a tweet, get into the internet, whatever I want to do on my iPad. I can do it that much faster because all I have to do is press the home button and I'm already in. So that is Skip Lock. It's a free tweak inside Cydia. Go check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'll be sure to respond to you. You guys can now follow me on Twitter at my TIP handle, which is T at TIP underscore Matt. Thank you guys so much for following. You guys have a wonderful day, and as always, peace.